in this session we are going to cover about secondary data and the methods of collecting secondary data and the sources of secondary data so secondary data is a data that has already been collected by someone else before you for a different purpose and it can be found in variety of sources such as in books in articles on websites on government publications in company reports and etc 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 so secondary data is the data which is already present for their purpose for different kind of studies and you want to use it for your study so that is a secondary data which is already been presented we have discussed already in the previous lectures about what is difference between primary versus secondary data right here we are going to let's cover about methods of collecting secondary data so we can collect the secondary data via literature review so a literature review is a process of identifying and evaluating secondary data that is relevant to the research questions we can what we do when we write a review paper we do re research study we do literature review and on the basis of that we find the gaps research gaps on the basis of that we on, we we get to know that what techniques they are using and on the basis of that we we just know that uh, what techniques they use what methodology use what results are there as a outcome right so already the data is presented and on the basis of that we are collecting some information that is a secondary data literature review i hope the clarity is there right the second one is data mining data mining is a process of extracting hidden patterns and trends from large amount of data as you know the data is very vast but we need quality data so for that we need data mining and then web scraping web scraping is a process of extracting data from websites how easily how efficiently how accurately you extract the relevant data that is the process of web scraping right so these are some of the methods of collecting secondary data apart from it there are some sources of secondary data that you can use it like books books are a good source of secondary data on a variety of topics and you can choose the relevant book regarding your topic and collect the data articles definitely articles are very rich and good source of secondary data on current events and trends you can read them you can utilize them you can cite them you can reference them and definitely you can use them in your data websites Websites is a good source of secondary data on variety of topics, but there is a need that you need to refer the authenticity. You need to be maintain authenticity. You need to refer the website which is authentic source of data, like government websites, like many websites are there which is authentic. So you need to figure out that right. So websites are also sources of secondary data. Government publications they are also good source of secondary data on variety of topics. Definitely. company reports if you need some specific information about any particular company then it is better to visit the company's reports on their websites company reports are a good source of secondary data on a company's financial performance their operations their upcoming plans and each and everything right so these are some of the good sources of secondary data i hope the concepts about primary data secondary data advantages their disadvantages their methods are very much clear till now whatever we have discussed all things are there in the description section link research methodology lectures do watch them ask your doubts stay tuned subscribe and please like the video have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat